Hi! In this video, we'll take a look at the basic structure of a program in Java. In this course, you will learn how to write algorithms and programs in Java. Java is one of the most popular programming languages. It's also the primary language for developing Android apps. And lastly, knowing Java can open up many career paths because it is used to develop large, reliable software systems. In Java, programs are made of a collection of classes. You can think of a class like a container for code that has a particular purpose. Specifically, a class groups together related data and actions. The actions in a class are called methods, and the data in a class are called attributes. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say you are writing a computer program that creates student schedules for a high school. This program could have multiple classes to help organize the code. For example, there could be a student class, a teacher class, and a course class. The student class would have a set of attributes or data and a set of methods or actions. Some attributes could be student name and grade level, and some examples of methods could be the action of changing a pathway or changing the student's grade level. A teacher class would have a set of attributes and methods as well. Some attributes could be a teacher name and the courses they teach. And some example methods could be the action of checking a teacher's availability or changing a course they're teaching. And let's think about the course class. Just like the student teacher class, the course class would have a set of attributes and methods as well. Some attributes could be the course name and the prerequisites. And some example of methods could be the action of adding that course to a schedule or changing a course prerequisites. This example shows how a program can have multiple classes. However, to start, you will write programs with only one class, which we'll call the main class. Let's get into some actual Java and create the main class. You start by writing public class. Notice how each word is lowercase. Why public, you ask? Well, you'll see this term a lot in Java, and you'll learn more about what it means later on. For now, just know that the term public means that something is accessible by everyone. Then you write the name of the class. For this example, you'll use my first class. Class names should follow a few guidelines. They should be descriptive, and they should use camel case. That means that each word starts with an uppercase letter and there are no spaces between words. Then you have an opening curly brace and closing curly brace. This tells the computer that everything inside of the curly braces is part of the MyFirstClass class. Inside of this class, there is a special method called the main method. The main method is like the engine of a car. Without it, the program will not run. To create the main method, you start with these commands, public static void main, and then parentheses, string brackets args. You don't need to understand what is going on here yet, but just know that this is the structure of the start of the main method in every Java program. Notice how this line of code is indented to show that it is inside of the MyFirstClass class. Just like the class, you have an opening curly brace and a closing curly brace. And just like the public stat void line is indented, the curly braces are indented too. Inside of the main method, you put the instructions for the computer to follow. This is the real heart and soul of your program. Each line of code is a single command for the computer to follow, called a statement. Again, notice how all of the code inside of the main method is indented to show that it is part of the main method. And there you have it. This is the most basic structure of the main class of a Java program. Now that you know the basics, let's write our first Java program. To write our first program, you need to know a Java command. Your first command will be a print statement that enables you to print text to the console or screen. This classic first program prints the text hello world. A print statement in Java looks like this, system.out.println, and then the text hello world. Let's see what it looks like to add this command to our main method. So here's the class, which is named hello world, so that it describes what the program does. Then there is the main method. Inside of the main method, let's start by writing system and period followed by out period, and then print ln. And finally, you have a set of open and close parentheses and a semicolon. Then inside of the parentheses, you input what you want to print. 
in this case, hello world. Notice how the text to print is surrounded by quotation marks. Great, let's head to the CodeHS editor to see what this looks like in action.